beautiful people, it's Sabina from the London Curls, again, back, as per usual. You might notice something a little bit different about me, other than the fact that I am sweating profusely because of how hot it has been in London. I mean, I don't know how you cope <laughs> in other countries. I love it when I go on holiday and it's hot, but when you're in London or England, we don't know how to cope with hot weather. I'm just glad because I'm getting a bit of a glow, but at the same time, I am sweating a lot because, yeah. The other thing you might notice is what is on top of my head now. As I will show you in the rest of the video, I have got my hair done in twists, again by the lovely Emma Monique. If you've watched my previous videos, um, I got faux locks done by Emma Monique and they were down to about, I'm not sure if you can see, but down to about my hips. And they were lovely, but if you read my blog post, which I will leave a link to underneath, they were extremely heavy. So. It was about, no, it was nine bags of hair. Nine bags, I showed you, I told you about it in the other video, so you should remember this, but nine bags of hair on my head. And you can imagine it was really heavy, etc. So I wanted to put a protective style in, but I wanted something a bit lighter. So let me show you what I did. Today I am back at Amma Monique's house and I am going to be getting my hair done in twists. So I decided to do something a little bit different. You know that I have henna in my hair so I've got red bits at the end. So I thought if I had just black hair twisted you'd be able to see the red bits from where my hair stops. So I thought now's the time for me to experiment with a bit of colour. So I've got this which as you can see is a nice burgundy colour. I'm going to have this twisted with some black hair so that it hopefully all blends together and I'm hoping to get darker hair at the bottom and red at the top. Just like last time I did a henna treatment but before that I did a bentonite clay um, well clarifying thing a few days ago so I did that first just to make sure that my hair was completely clean then I did a henna gloss and then I put my hair in braids so this turban, let's take this off so you can see it. So my hair's been in braids for a few days now. It's completely dry and it is stretched ready for it to be put into the twist. So I'll show you in a minute what we're doing. Okay, so this is where we're up to now. As you can see, this is like the, the lower levels and we're going for like a red, yeah, so the small sections of red just not around the bottom and then as it gets higher up, you can see it's going to have more and more red added to it. And at the moment we're using some gel, so holding gel to just keep all of the hair together. I'm here, this is now how many days? Um, 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 um. Pa. Oh, find myself while I try and think. Um, it has been four days that I've had these in, and they are very different as you can see. So I had faux looks before, as I just said. This time I decided to go for Havana twist. So I used the same style hair that I used in the last video. So Afro silky, Afro. Uh, I'll write it underneath <laughs> because I can't remember it for whatever reason. And yeah, I decided to go for two different colours. I've explained it in the um, already, but just to show you what it looks like now. So I thought I'd put it up in a bun so you can see. I'm sorry, it's a little bit messy. But as you can see, I went for really dark at the back. So I've got black, mostly black, I'd say three quarters black and a hint of red right at the back. And then slowly, I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see it because most of it's in the middle, but slowly it became much more red until it got to the front where it is just red mixed with my own hair. So what I like about using the black with it is it makes it blend a bit better. I mean, quite clearly with it being bright red at the front, you can see it's not my natural hair, but I like the fact that it's not like, it, there's like different tones to it and so on. So I'm really liking that. Now, as you can see, when I'm putting it in a bun, I'm getting lots of different streaks through it. Like so, let me just show you it down. This is it half down. Let me just undo it, untie it so you can see it fully. Sorry, whenever I take my hair down, I always feel the need to just rub my scalp a bit because it does get itchy. I find that maybe this wasn't the best time of year to do this just because when it's hot, it does mean that your scalp gets a little bit more irritated. It's not unbearable, but once or twice I do find myself patting my head. So you can see the different shades going on. 
And what I like about this compared to the faux locks, now of course the faux locks looks a lot more real, but what I prefer about these is just the weight. Like, um, let me think, I believe this is five, four and a bit bags of hair. So because it's not so tightly wound, it's the same texture of hair, but because it's not so tightly wound, it means that um, it weighs a lot less. So if you have a sensitive scalp, I definitely would opt for twists over um, faux locks. But you can have twists that do look quite natural. This texture of hair I really like because it actually looks natural, just like the faux locks did, because it looks like afro hair. So I mean, just getting it in one bill, whatever shade your hair naturally is, can work to give you natural looking twists. Now, I'll show you, I'll try to. Again, it's quite long, it's not quite down to my hips like the last time, but it is long and it means that I've got quite a lot of different styles that I can do, so I'm very happy about that. And yeah, I mean, I'll be honest, I'll be completely honest with you, it was a lot to get used to. I mean, when I first saw it, it was dark because we finished quite late at night and um, I just saw the bright red and I was like, I wasn't sure. But I must say that going out, especially because it's so sunny here, the bright colors, it really just pop like it's got a cherry, cherry tone to it as you can see. And I'm loving it now, I'm really loving it. Different styles look great, I was accessorizing. I accessorized with this, so I mean, it doesn't clash completely, but just adding different hints of color I'm loving it so definitely would advise you to just experiment with color it can really add to your outfits and it can make you experiment a little bit more with what you're wearing so again i'm back in my dashikis but yeah if you have any questions at all about how my hair was done the method used it's quite self-explanatory i'm sure you've seen some other twist videos but i can try and explain it to you i know i didn't get much filming but the lighting was a bit rubbish so apologies on my part but still if you have any other questions at all or if you'd like to request any videos i am going to be doing an updo video so i want to show you not only that massive bun but i want to show you different styles that would be great for you to wear during the summer or whenever I just updo style so I'll be sharing that with you soon but anything else you'd like me to share please let me know and leave a comment below and I'll get back to you okay I'm getting ahead of myself right the boot clam travel kit I have never had so much fun with a video purely because the amount of people that have got involved and have sent me a list of all of their songs their favorite songs my Spotify is going crazy right now. Like I am on Spotify adding all of the songs that people are telling me. I have got like a full on summer playlist going on right now and I am living for it, living. So thank you, thank you very kindly. If you would also like to get involved and be in for a chance of winning the Boo Claim Travel Kit, please, 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 please tell me, well you have to subscribe first and then tell me what your favorite summer song is, what video reminds you of summer Add it to the video, um, the video in my last video, and you could be in a chance of winning. Now, yeah, I think that's it. Next week, I will show you the different methods that I use to actually prepare my hair. So, I told you that I use the bentonite clay and the henna gloss. So, I'll be showing you how I mix them and how I applied them. And then, yeah, just look forward to watching lots of different styles and tutorials on how to style hair, especially brightly coloured hair, such as this. So thank you for watching, alright, bye!